few years back when i was learning django i always felt lost because i had no clear path of what to learn in django and there was no one to tell me exactly what to learn in django or how to go about it so now that i know django i can clearly tell you what exactly to learn in django so that you never feel lost so hi i'm shubham and subscribe if you want to become a better software developer so the first basic thing you should know to learn django is python because python is the backbone of django and you should have clear understanding of the fundamentals of python and if you want to learn that i have made a full playlist video so make sure you check that out next after learning python you should have clear or at least basic understanding of html css and javascript well html will help you make the ui css will help you like uh, style it and javascript will help you add interactivity so whenever you are coding for django right you should know these things because in django we have to write template code and for template code you should know these things now that you have good grasp of web development you should now learn about environments environment in python how to get started with it how to install it how to actually install all the packages inside that it is very basic and very simple thing you can easily learn it like within few hours by the end of this step you should be able to learn how to install django in your virtual environment and how to create your first project now you know that you have created your first project so you are already aware about the commands in django so now you have to get started with mvt because django is made out of mvt structure that is model views and template there is no specific order of how to learn that so i will tell you in my order that i think is important so first you should learn the views because views are like python functions in itself and in advanced version you can learn about cv uh, class based views okay and in basic version you can learn the function based views once you are done with this you can learn the templates well templates are the html code that you have to write it in html files so templates are done views are done of course views are where you write your business logic and template is the ui of front end which should be displayed to the user and finally the models models are like a database connector in a pythonic way so they are classes and it is very easy to learn the models once you learn all these three you will be able to understand how to create your web application then i will suggest you to learn urls.py how to use it and how to define it of course we should learn about forms.py it is very important because in whenever you're creating web application you will have forms in your uh, in your code so that is when you need forms.py and some understanding or some basic understanding about admin panel so that you can create super admin users out of the box and use it with these things you will be able to create a simple django application with crud operations now after this i will suggest you to learn about static images media files how they are served and how you can like use it in your code and of course make sure you understand about the authorization and authentication because they are very important now you are a django developer and you already know all the things that are required to know as a django developer well you can go deep dive and like study much more complex things but these are the minimum things now after this i will suggest you to learn a little bit of front end technologies so that you can create your front end project separately and like your have your back end separately and then of course like tie both of them through api calls and become a full stack developer also and finally you can learn about deployment for django well it is little bit difficult at start but once you get hang of it you'll easily be able to deploy django applications now let's say you want to become an advanced django developer to become advanced django developer this is the map or path or road map that you should follow well there is no particular order to this but you should have these things clear so that if any time required you can directly code it the concepts like logging how to log anything in uh, django or python then migrations it is very important to understand migrations otherwise you won't be able to deploy applications correctly or even like run applications on different developers system properly or if someone has already coded a project you won't be able to run it properly so that's why migration is an important topic i have covered the migration in my series so you can check out that over here then comes customizing of user model it is very important in django that you know how you can customize the user model how you can inherit the existing one and customize it that also i have covered 
you can check it out then you can learn about signals middlewares management command these are the like advanced topics in django which you should know if you want to become an advanced developer then you should know about real time communication in django for that we use django channels and you should take a look at how to use it and how to create your own channels or how to create your own web socket in django for that you can check out my video of course i have already covered it i will also suggest you to learn django rest framework for creation of restful apis by making use of django if you learn this you will be able to consume these apis in the front end by making api calls in drf i will suggest you to learn some topics such as routers which is very easy and it is like urls.py then uh, serializers.py which is equivalent to forms.py in django then comes model view sets like how to create api within few minutes then also learn about django filters how you can use query params to filter django data in apis well it is very easy once you integrate these things together and finally you should learn about testing in django well you should never miss out uh, to write test cases because it is important otherwise let's say you write certain uh, code module a and when you write code module b your a breaks so that should not be the case that is where test cases keeps everything in check and it will throw error when some certain modules are failing so make sure you learn the testing as well i know these were lots of things to learn but i have broken down them into basic and advanced concepts and it's not like today itself you will be able to finish all these things it will take you time and practice so make sure you put in some time to learn django and practice applications and if you have any question make sure you comment them down and soon i'll be bringing you the django tutorials thank you and i'll see you in the next one